Let's talk about the killing of Christian Kazaji, a South African actor and model who was said to have been shot dead in the Democratic Republic of Congo while attending a funeral on the 2nd of May 2022. Now, Christian was said to have traveled to Botswana around the 28th of April 2022 for Forbes Under 30 Summit because aside being an actor and a model, he is also a tech guy, said to be the founder and CEO of a digital marketing company called Click Media, a very successful company at that. So after the summit, meet in Botswana, he decided to travel to the Democratic Republic of Congo, to be specific. It was said that he had plans to attend a funeral, so this wasn't something that was impromptu. From the day he left South Africa to go to Botswana, part of his itinerary was also to stop back in DR Congo for a funeral. It was in this funeral that things took a turn for the worse. Talk about death at a funeral. So what really happened at that funeral? To be clear, details surrounding his death is still very sketchy, even at this point. But from what we know, it appeared that Christian may have caused the scene at the funeral. Now, you are listening closely because it's a little awkward. Strange, bizarre, and quite weird, honestly. According to an eyewitness who was present at the funeral, it was said that Chris attempted or even succeeded in opening the casket of the deceased person. And while that is weird enough, it was then said he tried to jump into the casket on the deceased person. Honestly, this is creepy. And in case you did not understand what I said, let me rephrase. The eyewitness claimed that Chris walked up to the casket of the deceased person, opened it, and then climbed into it. It was then said at this point, people felt weird. It was awkward and strange. The funeral was even scattered at a the point. They were like, what is going on here? Who is this person and why is he doing that to the dead body? A group of people soon tried to get him out of the casket. They succeeded in pulling him out, but it was said that he kept fighting back causing a scene at the funeral. Somewhere along the line, the police were involved, trying to hold him down or contain him or, I don't know, stop him from acting crazy. And in the process, the police shot him. It was from that gunshot that he lost his life. In fact, when I first heard of this story, my first thought was, why did this South African boy leave his country to go to another man's land and create a scene at a funeral? But then upon further research, it turned out that Christian Kazadi is originally from Congo. The Aro Congo is his hometown. That is where he's from. He most likely just spent all his life in South Africa and grew up there. But he is originally an a bona fide citizen of the Aro Congo. Which then gave me the impression that if that is the case, then there is a chance that he actually knew the person who had died at the funeral. Although it's not stated whose funeral it was or what his relationship was with that person. And I wouldn't say the person could have been family because basically his brothers and siblings were not present there. He was the only one there. Maybe the person was a friend or someone he had known a long time, but it's not stated. Now, regardless of whether or not he knew who the person was, why would he have done that? Why would he have opened up a closed casket? An attempt to climb inside of it. What could have prompted him to do such a thing? My first original thought was that, okay, at funerals, people mourn. And then there are those who over mourn. I'm not going to say his behavior was totally strange because let's face it, we've seen people at funerals who cry up to the point that they want to throw themselves inside the grave of the deceased. We have also seen people cry at funerals up to the point that they try to hit and wake the deceased person in hopes that the person would wake up and you know leave again even if you haven't seen you most likely have heard sometimes at funerals people do crazy things there are people who mourn and over mourn they over express how much they would miss the person so much that they most likely don't even know when they are trying to jump into the grave or jump into the casket so that was my thought that was what i felt could have happened to chris kazadi I thought maybe he knew the person so much and maybe the person meant so much to him that he was most likely in his feelings mourning when he tried to do what he did because I don't know any logical explanation that would make sense of that situation. So I just feel that maybe Christian might have been used to that way of mourning at funerals. Remember he grew up in South Africa. And I don't mean to generalize, but I've also seen in some South African funerals how some of the mourners, you know, cry to the point that they try to, you know, reach out to the deceased and see if the person could wake up again. I've seen it in some Nigerian funerals. So 
it's not exactly new to me maybe if i see it happen in person i would think okay fine someone hold him down someone try to console him someone get him away from the cops but then again i don't think this is a common practice in the arrow congo i don't think they mourn like that and i think maybe that was why the witness said this in such a disgusting manner because the person who said you know he saw him misbehave at the funeral made it seem like he caused his death himself made it seem like he deserved what he got maybe people in Daro congo are not used to that way of mourning unless of course he probably wasn't mourning or was he angry at the deceased was it someone who was an enemy because it's still unclear why or under what condition he opened the person's casket and attempted to jump inside the casket with the deceased I am the only one just imagining he was mourning and crying and probably you know angry at his loss but for the fact that people at the funeral might have been disgusted is it possible that it was much more than just mourning and if it is i wonder what it could have been or could it be that he was intoxicated or maybe high or had had too much to drink because that is like the only way i see someone acting out of order in such an occasion now having said all of this having trying to make sense of his actions at the funeral i still don't understand why the police killed him is it that there wasn't enough men to hold him down or kick him out of the funeral or is it that there was not enough policemen to pin him down and put him in handcuff and maybe arrest him and lock him up at a prison I don't understand the situation that would have led to the police shooting him if he wasn't with a weapon himself or if he wasn't a threat or something if he was just throwing tantrums like they said he was causing a scene trying to enter into the casket fighting yelling i feel there could have been better ways to have held him down i feel like the police could have handled the situation differently this feels like something that would happen in the u.s with a black man and a white cop the police did not have to shoot again i'm not so sure of the situation at the funeral in question here there is no details as to what really went down all we know is he caused a scene at the funeral, tried to enter into the casket. The police came, they tried to hold him down. There was a back and forth scuffle between him and the people there trying to, you know, hold him down or prevent him from doing whatever he was trying to do. And in the process, they fired the gun at him. I can see he's a big man and obviously looks strong. But I'm sure there could have been at least four to five strong men in that funeral who could have held him down, kick him out, tie him up handcuff him and arrest him because i don't understand why the police had to shoot another thing that is being said regarding his death is that the police who shot him would not face charges would not be punished from what we are hearing it's being said that the police acted within order which means that there could have been more to what really went down there than what is being said this is an unfortunate loss something in my opinion that could have been handled differently but at the same time, what could have been the reason behind his behavior at that funeral? Why could he have opened the casket and attempted to climb inside of it? As familiar as that may sound, it is still very unusual and bizarre. But regardless of that fact, he did not deserve to be shot and killed. But do let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think about this tragedy.